Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to clone products on your WooCommerce website. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And we've been working on this project as an experiment project and we've been doing quite a few different things over the last set of tutorials. But I want to go into the admin control panel and I'm in the product section here. Now as default in the current versions of WooCommerce for quite a few versions, uh, there's an option here to duplicate, right? You can see there's an option to duplicate a particular product. So that's great, right? We can duplicate a product. But one thing to note is if we were to go to pages here, there's no option to duplicate a page and that's quite important and same with blog posts as well. Why would we want to duplicate a page? If you're editing a page, let's say for example if we view this home page, if you're going to make some changes to it, let's say that you want to change this header here into a different slider, but you're not sure if that's going to look good, you really want to duplicate that page. So as an example, in one of my previous tutorials, we created an image slider. So I took that home page and I duplicate it and call it home page new, but I set it to draft here. Can you see? If I click preview, you can see that there's a different header slider here that this is what we created in one of our other tutorials so how did i do that what i did is i went to plugins and we're just going to install one plugin quickly i'm just going to click add and we'll go to plugins here we're going to type in yoast duplicate post and we're going to click install and we're going to activate it right it's got like three million uh, subscriptions here or three million installations so it's quite a popular tool and you don't need that to duplicate products because there's a duplicate button here but now when we go to pages there's also an option to clone the page here and that's quite important so I just wanted to show you that there's an option there and we should really install that plugin when we're working on any type of WordPress website or WooCommerce we want to be able to clone pages so we can keep backups of our pages when we do edits if we don't like something we can always revert back to our original page let's go to products and inside products I'm going to click on the duplicate button here let's just do a, a typical example of how we do this so before you duplicate a product it's worth sitting down and looking at that product very very clearly so we we'll go to the website we'll go to shop let's go to this men's men's category here and if we click on this particular product this is the last one that we worked on in the demonstration video and um, we're happy with this product right it's got all the right pictures it's doing everything that it's supposed to do uh, but we just want to duplicate and create a similar product but maybe of a different style because this is like a gray style here right let's go into the admin control panel we'll click duplicate and this is typically how i would do it uh, I'll get rid of this word copy first of all and maybe we'll type in the word green for example we'll edit the URL and we'll get rid of this word copy at the end and we'll replace it with the word green right it's going to be a green style t-shirt or blue or something right as a demonstration so if we go down here we've got the word gray here so let's just type in green as a tag and we'll add it so we've got, now we've got a tag called green let's get rid of this picture uh, we'll remove it and then we'll click on set product image and we'll find a different picture um, this has kind of got greens in it. it's more blue to be fair I think it's more like blue um, and then we can just get rid of this image here right because it's kind of a duplicate so we'll just get rid of this one picture and maybe we'll just change that to blue right it's not green it's blue so let's make it right let's just change that to blue and then we'll get rid of this green we can change and add blue here as well and click add let's publish this we could preview it and save it as a draft but we can just publish it as an example and let's just go back to our shop men's and then we'll see this new product here right and it's called blue it's got blue written in there so really if we click on it it's the blue t-shirt it's got blue written here but the sizing and everything else and the size table was all the same as the gray products it just happens to be a different colored product but the information about it is pretty much the same although this isn't factually correct because it isn't a spartan retro 3d printed t-shirt but as an example if the if this gray t-shirt let's say had a blue version had a green version a yellow version then you could just duplicate it and just replicate that product across and just change little bits of information add the word blue yellow green at the end of it and just tag it up correctly and just change the picture right and it's job done so you can add one product make sure it's 100 percent correct and then replicate it five or six times with different colors and that can speed up your workflow when you're adding lots of products to your woocommerce store this is quite a nice way to do it i think okay so that's how you can duplicate or clone a product but more importantly you can also duplicate and clone pages as well so if we go to the home page 
this is a bit beyond the scope of this tutorial but if we click on pages for example and if we go ahead and look at this home page if we clone it click clone you'll see that it's got a copy now so you can see there's a draft one here normally what I would do is go to quick edit and call this something like test and put today's date maybe it's the 19th the 4th 2021 and we'll click update and then I know that this is my next test is set to draft so no one can see it in the public only I can see it or whoever is working in this admin control panel right so we can go ahead and preview this clone page it's a clone of the home page and then we can go in and do stuff in the UX builder we can edit the UX builder and maybe we want to change this text here so let's just edit it t-shirts for everyone and maybe we'll just say we just get rid of this description here and just write check out some awesome products All right we just want to change that text here just as an example we'll click ok we'll click apply and we'll publish it now when we close it this um let's just up yeah, let's close it now we've got that text written there right but it's a cloned version so this isn't live this is just maybe you and your staff are looking at this and maybe someone says don't write that write this message but at least people can see it now you can just copy this send it to them and when they log in if i were to copy this url copy it and paste it in another web browser where i'm not logged in you won't be able to see this page right because it's been set to a draft copy but having the ability to clone the pages is quite important as it's important to be able to clone products Okay, let's close this down. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll be making lots more useful WooCommerce tutorials. And you can also access over 650 other types of tutorials on my YouTube channel. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.